Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Stuff. In the last video, we have learned how to use model bottom sheet in Android Studio. But in this video, we'll learn how to use persistent bottom sheet in Android Studio. So we'll be creating application like this. So if I click on this expand button, bottom sheet will expand. And if I click on this collapse button, bottom sheet will collapse. Also, we will be using scroll views. So because of that scroll view, if I drag it to upside, it will expand. And if I drag it to downside, it will collapse. So let's fire up our under studio and start creating the project. So I have created one empty project here. I will delete this text view. And we have to add material design dependency. So we'll just open up our Google Chrome and I will search here material design Android dependency. And we'll click on the first link. And we'll copy this implementation. And we'll paste it in our build.gradle over here and we'll change its version to 1.2.1 and then we'll click on sync now so now we'll just change this constraint layout to coordinate layout So this one. So the coordinator layout have better control over its child views and of course coordination means to make uh, many th different things work effective as a group or as a team. So this coordinator layout helps us to handle animations and transitions of child views with each other. So now we'll just uh, clear, we'll just create here linear layout. So linear layout and we'll set its uh, width as a match parent and height as a wrap content and we'll set orientation as a vertical and then we'll add here button and it's it's height and width will be wrap content and we'll just uh, give it id as expand button So we'll add a uh, gravity to our linear layout. So gravity as a center horizontal. So button will be in the center and we'll add here our text to our button. So text as expand. Okay, now I'll just uh, copy this button and we'll paste it here. So this will be collapse button. And we'll change this text to collapse and we'll just put some margin from top so margin top this will be let's say 20 dp margin from top 20 dp so now we have to create one uh, scroll view so we'll use nested scroll view so this one and we'll set its uh, width as a match parent and we'll set its height as a let's say 280dp sorry and we'll give it uh, id as let's say bottom sheet and we are we will add here a uh, behavior so we'll just write layout behavior one and we select bottom sheet bottom sheet behavior and we'll just uh, change its background so background we'll add here ff0 lo1 cool now we'll just uh, add here one text view so text view uh, it will be match parent and match parent we'll, we'll just uh, write in a random text so we'll first provide text size 22 sp and then we'll just write one random text that will be let's say this is bottom sheet and then slash and slash in two times and we'll pick some random text from chrome 
let's search for bottom sheet android and we'll just copy this text this text and we'll paste it here so now we'll end this tag here and we'll add one add some padding here so padding let's say of 10 dp cool now we'll just uh, jump to main activity and we'll create instance of bottom sheet behavior so private bottom sheet behavior and we'll name it as a behavior and now we'll just find ids of our button so button first is the expand button so expand button find you by id r dot id dot expand button and another is the collapse button so collapse find you by id collapse button now we'll create one view so view and we'll name it as a bottom bottom sheet and we'll find in id using r dot id dot our nested scroll view that is bottom sheet so now we'll just initialize our behavior so behavior bottom sheet behavior dot from and we'll select this bottom sheet cool now we'll just add some properties to our uh, behavior so first will be the peak height so we'll set it to 120 and then we'll add a uh, behavior dot set high table and we'll pass it here true cool now we'll just add on click listener to our expand button and collapse button so expand button dot set on click listener new on click listener and after this we'll just add on click listener to our collapse button so collapse button set on click listener new on click listener okay so here we'll just have to set the state of this behavior so behavior set state and we'll write here expand sorry i uh, will write here state expand so this and over here we'll just write here behavior dot set state and this will be state collapse so state collapsed so cool so this is it now we'll check our app is working or not so i'll click on this run button and it has been installed so if i click on this expand button the bottom sheet is expanding and if i click on this collapse button the bottom sheet is collapsing also i have added scroll view so because of that scroll view i can just swipe up it and it will expand and if i drag it to bottom side it will collapse so it is working perfectly so this is it for now make sure you subscribe the channel for upcoming tutorials thank you for watching